Hey everyone, it's Charlie Morgan here and welcome to another video. So today we're gonna to be going through how to make $10,000 a month, um, pretty much as soon as humanly possible. Like if you've got no money, you're starting from scratch, you've got no real business knowledge um, or business acumen, like how do you actually do it? How do you go from nothing to six figures? Um, well, I managed to figure that, that one out when I was about 18, 19 years old, and I haven't really looked back since. Um, it by far has the biggest impact and change on anyone's life ever. And so today, I'm just gonna walk you through like how to do it and how I would do it if I was starting again from scratch. I'm gonna walk you through the strategy I'd use. Um, and this is probably like the fastest way to make it happen. Um, so let's get into it. So I've got the whiteboard here. I'm just gonna quickly plug you into the tripod and we'll get into the video. All right, you can see me. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is accomplish a financial feat that takes most um, traditional career paths um, 10 to 15 to 20 years to achieve. And what we're able to do is really, it is possible to get to the point where you're making, you know, 10K a month, this can be pounds, dollars, or euros. It's possible to get to this point in about 12 months. Now, you're going to have heard, the first thing that I'm going to tell you about getting to 10k a month is that you're going to have heard from a lot of different people that it's going, you can get to 10k a month in two months, three months, you know, you can do it in six months. Um, the truth is that going from zero to $10,000 a month is more about changing your character, your belief systems, your identity, and who you are to manifest this and make this happen, as opposed to changing your financial situation. And in order for you to do this and to become the person that can make 10 grand a month, which I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do shortly, um, you need to undergo a complete overhaul of yourself. And that can only really happen in a slightly longer time horizon than people that sell 997 courses promise you, okay? So as with my How to Become a Millionaire video, I'm gonna set an expectation for you, right? And that is that to get to the point where you're consistently, reliably, predictably making 10 grand a month um, is probably gonna take anywhere between 12 to 36 months, okay? It's gonna take a year or two or three, all right? And you need to realize this. I want your expectations to be set properly. This is the time frame that you can expect. It's as you as you traverse this barrier of time, the likelihood of you making the 10 grand a month increases. So I don't want you to think to yourself, oh, but I've been doing this for a year and I'm not making 10 grand a month. It's more likely to take, you know, a couple of years than it is just to take one. It's possible in one, but it depends on where you start and who you are when you start. And all of that's gonna become super clear in this video. And I'm gonna give you the, I don't know how, this might be quite a long video in case you can't tell, but I'm gonna break this thing down for you um, in the exact same way that I did when I was 18, 19. Cause like when I was, you know, when I was 18 years old, I dropped out of university. Um, I was quite angry at the world. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't, I was just quite a, kind of useless. I didn't feel particularly useful to anything or anyone. I kind of was angry at myself and you know, I just wasn't happy. I was just miserable. I didn't, I didn't have any financial freedom. I didn't have any freedom of movement, you know, and all of that was because of money. I just didn't have the financial resources or um, capital abundance to, you know, live the life that I wanted to live so that I could be happy and take responsibility for myself and for other people. So, you know, when I figured out how to make 10 grand a month, all of that went away and my life changed forever, okay? And now I make, you know, north of anywhere between 600 to $800,000 to a million dollars per month sometimes. Um, and so I've sort of started out. So let's begin with some first principles here, okay? Um, any of you, if you've watched any of my whiteboard videos before, you'll know we reason from first principles, we critically think, and we do not um, get attached to shiny objects. So I'm gonna list a few things out here on the board, right? SMMA, Drop shipping, right? Amazon FBA, um, crypto, um, there's some more real estate. Um, what else do we have here? Well, there's actually like a chat GPT store coming out now. So that'll be a shiny object. Automation agency, like, you know, you, there's the list goes on. There's dozens and dozens of potential businesses. So what I'm gonna do now is tell you what it's all about. It's not about SMMA, um, we put here coaching, you know, there's all sorts of models. It's not about drop shipping, it's not about Amazon FBA, it's not about crypto, it's not about real estate, it's not about chat GPT, it's not about automation agency, it's not about coaching. It's not about any of these things. 
All of these business models um, are what we call a vehicle. Okay? Make a note of this. So there are two things that you need to have to get to 10,000 a month. And it really is as simple as just these two things, right? It's not about, it's not about starting an agency. It's not about deciding to do drop shipping. It's not about, you know, doing like a faceless YouTube channel. It's all about vehicle and driver. You would have not heard this before because, well, quite frankly, I came up with this and no one else teaches it this way. Um, by the way, I don't, I'm not going to try and sell you like a 997 course on how to make 10 grand a month. Like, you know, this is just free information. Um, we have a high ticket program for a very specific type of person. And like, I don't want you to think that there's some sort of webinar coming. Like this is just truly from like a good place. Like I actually just want to help you. Right. So vehicle and driver. So, <clears throat> okay. So now we've covered that. Let's get into this. So. In order for you to get to your goal of 10K a month, the, uh, the list of ingredients you need, so to speak, are two things. You need to have a vehicle and a driver. What do these things mean? Well, I want you to visualize this for a second. And imagine that you're, this is a road, right? And, it, and at the start of the road is $0 per month or wherever you are right now, a couple of grand a month, maybe you've got a job making a thousand a month, but you understand your current financial situation. This, is where, this resembles where you are, right? And then at the end of the road, you know, we have um, 10K per month. And what we need to do to go from where we are right now to where we want to be is essentially, you know, drive along this road and, road and bridge this gap, right? And in order to do that, what we need is we need a vehicle, right? So we need a car. This is, this, this basically is a, is a car, let's just pretend it's like a test of cyber truck or something. But we need a car and we need someone to drive this car, right? Now, what this means is the, the car or the vehicle, this represents the business. More importantly, the business model that you pick and the driver represents you. So I'm here to tell you, and you're not gonna like this, I'm here to tell you that 80 to 90% of your ability to do this is about you, okay? So it is very seldom the business model that is the reason why you're not making 10,000 a month. Very, very rarely does this actually happen, and I'm gonna explain why. So let me explain this. So if you have, let's list out a couple of business models. SMA, drop shipping, you know, um, automation agency, you know, YouTube, like slash Instagram, slash socials, you know, like repurposing content or whatever. You know, there's, there's all, you know, community, you can sell like a low ticket community. Maybe you're doing video editing, you know, agency. You know, the list goes on, real estate, Airbnb, right? Here's the truth. So you might have tried some different models before. The chances are, if you're watching this video, um, you've tried a few different things. For example, when I started, I tried drop shipping um, way before I tried my agency, right? But the truth is that all of these work. Because if you think this through critically for a second with me here, um, if you look at all of these different business models, all of them, you're gonna, find, you're gonna find hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of people that are already making $10,000 a month. So what you need to understand is basically any business vehicle that you select, whether it is a clean starting a cleaning company, um, whether you're selling a pasta on the street, right? The chances are there's already someone in there, inside of that business, inside of that model, inside of that car, that is making 10 grand a month. And so what this means is that if, this, if, if one of these doesn't work out for you, it has absolutely nothing to do with the vehicle. It has everything to do with you. Understand this, businesses do not fail, people do. A business is an extension of a person. And if that person doesn't have the capabilities, requirements, heuristics, characteristics, you know, inserts in them here to make what they want to make, they won't make it. And so the example that I want to give you here is let's say um, that this represents like a race car, you know, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna draw this, but let's just say like, you know, here's, here's a race car, you know, it's like a 
massive exhaust here, you know, and it's like a, you know, it's got go fast stripes. Let's say that this, this doesn't look like an F1 car, but let's say this is an F1 car. This is a vehicle that is going to go fast and it's going to, you know, enable you to get to the point where you're making like 10 grand a month, whatever. Now, if, if I gave you a F1 car to drive, right, which was capable of getting you from A to Z very, very, very quickly, right, that's the point I'm making here. If I gave it to you in your current state right now with your current skills, um, your current characteristics, et cetera, et cetera, um, and you try to sit in here and, you know, drive this thing, why you'd be sitting like that, I don't know, you know, with the pedals down here, um, you would crash it because you don't have the skills or anything to know how to drive this car. You have no business sitting in a, you know, 1,300 horsepower, 5 million pound F1 car, right? I wouldn't know how to do it. So nobody, like, I'm not saying that I'm the ultimate driver, but my point is if this is a business model, like the car's not the problem. So time and time again, and you've probably done this before, what people do is they try, they try a car, like a business model, they, they start drop shipping or they start an agency or they start anything, you know? And about a couple of months in, it's usually a couple of months, um, their confidence turns to doubt and then they don't make it, they don't do what they want to do, and then they blame the business, right? So this is the single first most important thing that you need to have to get the 10K a month. And that is the ability to take responsibility. Responsibility is the best ability in business, okay? And if you're not willing to sacrifice your ego and admit that you are the problem as to why your past businesses have not worked, you will never succeed. So if you've tried to start anything in the past and it hasn't worked, it's not because of the business model, it's not because of the niche, it's not because of the clients, it's not because of the market, it's all because of you. And if it wasn't, if that wasn't true, then there wouldn't be people inside of that business, inside of that niche, making the money that you want to make. And so think it through for a second here, right? And I'm gonna drill this point and then we'll move on. So, you know, let's just say it's drop shipping, right? You know, and you know, you try drop shipping and you, you do it for, you know, three months, and you get to here and you make like a lousy 50 pound sale and then you know you just you just quit and then you say oh drop shipping just doesn't work no you don't work it's a big difference very big difference because if drop shipping didn't work then there wouldn't be thousands of people that are making 10 to 100 grand a month which is what you want to make so my point here is it's never ever ever about the business you probably clicked on this video to figure out like um, you know, what, what business model is Charlie going to tell me to use? Like, you know, what, like this guy, like, what's he going to pick? Like, what's the strategy? What's the shiny object? You clicked on this to get hold of a, of a model or like a, something that you can, like a car, right? Like a, like a vehicle. But I'm here to tell you that it's not about that. It's all about you. And so we're going to spend a lot of time um, talking about you. And I'm going to write some things over here. Um, uh, what else do we have over here? Um, well, really, that's that's it. Um, okay. So, okay. So let's talk about the vehicle to begin with, because how like it's all it's all good and well me sitting here and now telling you the secret is is about you and you know the way you operate. But I actually do want to explain some fundamentals of a good business vehicle, so that when you do go to pick one, you you actually do pick one that that works, right? So we're gonna take two angles with this video on how to make ten k a month. The first one's gonna be the vehicle, and what you need to do to create money, essentially. And the second one's gonna be all about you and how you can become the driver that can actually drive the car to get his 10K month. Because like, if I put you in a vehicle that allows you to get the 10K a month, but I don't teach you how to drive it, then you're not gonna to get to where you wanna go. So this is my point, it's not about the car, it's not about the vehicle, it's about your ability to drive it. Because every business vehicle that has been proven to work by another person before will get you to your goal if you know how to find, you know, if you know how to downshift and, you know, take the corners and, you know, indicate properly and put the lights on, put that, if you don't know how to do that, you're not going to succeed, right? So let's get into this. So the vehicle. Now, business 101. No one would have taught you this before because I don't know why. People don't focus on this stuff. If you, if you want to look at this, like what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make money, right? So we are trying to make big fat stacks of cash consistently as much as we can repeatedly, right? So we need to understand that money works as an exchange, right? If you want to make money and receive money, you have to give something. 
every action has an opposite and equal reaction. You know, that's kind of like the main law of the universe, right? Newton said it. So if we want to make money, we have to give something. If we want to receive money, we have to give something. So what we can do here is we can understand that money works in a flow. And it's a very simple flow. Um, if this is money here, right? And we want this money to flow to us, right? Now this money here is coming from, this, is this, this black box here represents the market, okay? And the market is basically a load of people in the, in the niche or you know, inside of the market of the business that you're operating. So you know, these could be clients, these could be customers, these could be subscriptions, retainers, pe people that basically have the money in your market, right? And so this is all the money. And if we want the money to flow to you, then what needs to happen here is you need to basically give something to these people. Because unless you're willing to go and steal from these people, which is not a good long-term strategy, um, you, need to, you need to fix this equation. So this is the flow of money to you from the market, and then this is the flow of you to the market. But what is this, right? This, this, blue, you know, this blue line here, what does this actually represent? What are we giving to these people to get them to pay us? Now, you might say, oh, well, if I'm selling, if I'm selling agency services, then I'm, I'm giving them marketing. Or if I'm, if I'm doing Amazon FBA, then I'm selling them garden rakes. Or if I'm doing OnlyFans management agency, then I'm, these are the models and I'm selling them more customers, more degenerative men to you know, go and spend money, whatever, right? You get the point. But here's the thing. This blue line at first principle represents value. Now, this is the moment where you roll your eyes and you say, well, okay, but what the hell does that mean? Like, you know, every, it's time and time again, you hear these financial gurus say, if you want to make money, just add value. Like, well, of course, but then they don't really tell you what value is. And the truth is that they don't know what value is because they've never created value and they make their money by just ranting about, you know, making money online and then people paying them for their courses so that they can just tell them to add value and they're not really adding any value at all. It's all just a facade, right? So how do we actually create and add this? Well, it's very simple. And it boils down to a wonderful quote um, that I, yours truly, came up with. Value is created when pain is alleviated. I spent a long, long time to, like thinking about this because I've intuitively understood the nature of value and it's taken me, I realized this about a year ago, it's taken me like seven years to, to clock this one and figure this out. Like, what am I actually giving people here? What you're doing is you are alleviating pain. And so what this means is your ability to make $10,000 a month is all about your ability and how well you alleviate someone's pain. And how we do that is we do it through a problem. So let me explain this. So you know earlier how we had all this money here. <clears throat> we have all this money, you know, stacks of it, but the money is locked away inside of the market, right? And inside of the market are all these people, you know, like this. And you know, there's thousands, tens of thousands of them. Like, you know, I work in, the agency niche or the consulting niche, I've got like 200,000 potential customers, right? Bigger the better. So what you have to understand is that like the market holds the money and it's kind of locked away. And what we're trying to do is basically penetrate the market. So what you see here, penetrate, 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 penetrate. What we're trying to do is we're trying to open this up so that money can essentially leak out of it into our pockets, right? So the money's gonna leak out of this hole or this hole or this hole, or this hole, you know. And we want to try our best to go into this thing, it's like we're drilling for oil and just leak it out. But how do we penetrate the wall of the market, so to speak? You know, because these, these walls, you know, the market is very difficult to, to penetrate. This is reinforced, there's guard dogs, you know, they've got a moat. Like it's very, very difficult, you know, to get into this thing, you know, there's barbed wire and it's, it's not an easy thing to do. The way that we create a hole in the market so that you know, we can basically leak money into our pockets is we find a problem, right? So understand that markets work in what we call a fractal. 
And what this, what a fractal essentially is in, in nature is it's what exists in the micro also will exist in the macro. And so it's basically a pattern. And what this means is the life of this person will very closely resemble the life of this person and this person and this person and this person. And so what this means is from a like standpoint, the market, all the people in the market are very similar. They have very similar problems. They have very similar experiences um, and they, they want very similar things. It's the same reason as to why, you know, if, if my, my brother right now is 17 years old, right? And he's, um, he wants to build a business and his goal is to make 10K a month, right? And so, you know, what I can do with that is I can then assume that other 17-year-olds that want to build a business and make money probably want to make $10,000 a month, right? And because of that, I can then start to penetrate the market and create video titles and but you know, I don't sell courses on how to get to 10K a month. You get the point, right? You you understand that as in the micro, so in the macro, right? And so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to establish a problem that all of these people have. And by solving this problem, we create value. Because remember, value is created when pain is alleviated. And so if you want to if you want to make money like this, you know. And you want this money to go from, you know, someone in the market. And you want that money to go over here to you. Well, the market is only going to reciprocate based on pain alleviation. So then, then that begs the question of, well, how do I alleviate the pain? I'm not referring to like physical pain, unless you're a massage therapist or, you know, a pain doctor or something. I'm referring to psychological pain that comes as a result of having a problem. So, for example, I'm doing this right now, right? Although I'm not getting paid for it, um, but with this video, you have a problem in your life where you're simply not making enough money and you're un upset about it. And so you're watching this video to try and fix that problem. And what I'm doing is explaining how to fix the problem. And through doing that, I'm helping you solve the problem. And therefore I'm alleviating pain. And you're not necessarily giving me money to do this, but you're giving me your attention, right? You know, represented by this eye here, right? And so you're exchanging your attention for value. And the value is the fact that I'm helping you solve a problem and alleviate the pain. And so this is the first thing to understand if you want to make 10,000 a month is your ability to solve a painful problem for someone. Um, well, your ability to make 10 grand a month hinges on your ability to solve that problem and not only solve it, but solve it as fast as you can, as, as well as you can, better than anybody else, as reliably and consistently and predictably as you can. Okay. And so when, when we talk about, you know, having a vehicle, a business vehicle, you know, when we talk about having a car like this, you know, as, as so, you know, and we've got some windows in here and then you're driving it. Like when we talk about having a vehicle that can, can take you from where you are right now to where you want to go, a business vehicle is viable to use to get to where you want to go for as long as it adds value. And so if you want this vehicle to move along the road of broke to 10K a month, the the petrol or the fuel that you're going to use to drive this thing forward and to move it towards the goal is value. And value is created when we remove pain from the market's life by solving a problem. And so if you look at any product, any product that you've ever bought, maybe with a couple of exceptions, 99% of, of, of human purchasing decisions come from a place of I want to solve a problem. For example, let's say that you want to buy a sandwich. Well, why do you want to buy a sandwich? Because you're hungry. You are in a small amount of pain because you have the problem of not having any food and so you buy a sandwich. Another example, you can see in my office here, I have these house plants, right? When I moved into this office, um, it was kind of bare and I used to live in the UK. Now I'm in Dubai, I miss trees and nature. And so I had a problem. I wasn't in real pain. It wasn't like I was up at night at three in the morning crying, but, well, no, I definitely wasn't doing that. Right. But you get the point, right? It's like um, these plans alleviate that pain. They, that business has created value by alleviating the pain I had as a result of not having enough nature. Right. Like another example I can show you um, is let's just use the airport. Right. 
So these are my headphones, AirPod Maxes, and they solve the problem of like noise cancelling. So I can buy any headphones on the market, but these ones cancel noise out, and that's really good for me because you know it solves the problem of being distracted and stuff. So I, I just invite you for a second here to just actually have a think about everything that you've ever bought ever. And if you find out, if you really get to the bottom of it and you ask yourself why you bought it, it's literally just because you were in pain and you wanted to solve a problem. So that's basically, that's, that's literally it. You know, the way that the, the way that the market works is people have the current situation down here and their desired situation up here and between the current situation and desired situation is a gap. And we make money when we essentially bridge the gap between current situation and desired situation. And, it, and making 10,000 a month is literally just as simple as doing that for enough people. It is not rocket science. I promise you it's not difficult. It's not, it's not that it's not difficult because it requires a lot of you to, you know, a lot of pain, but it's hard, but it's very simple. You know, it's not that tricky to suss it out. It's simple to understand, hard to implement because you're going to get in your own way and we'll get into that in a second. Um, but this is really all it's about. It's current situation, it's where they are right now, it's desire situation. And your amount, the amount of money you make from the market or from the person will depend on the level of pain the problem actually has, if that makes sense. And so, you know, if you look at the biggest companies on the planet, right? You know, for example, look at Facebook, right? They solve the problem of human connection. That's a big one. If you look at Amazon, they solve the problem of literally being able to have anything you want ever to deliver to your doorstep tomorrow. If you look at Apple, they solve the problem of like being able to execute on tasks and find information within seconds. That's what the iPhone essentially is. And so the big companies that get paid the big bucks, they solve the biggest problems, right? You don't need to make billions of dollars and build a trillion dollar corporation. You just need to make 10K a month, okay? So whether you're selling, like I said, you know, garden rakes through Amazon FBA or marketing services to gyms or coaching to men on, who haven't got much testosterone, you need to understand that what you're doing is you're solving a problem. You're taking them from where they are now to where they're Okay, so that is really the first and most important thing. It's why all of those business vehicles work just fine. Because the reason that the business model that you picked may have not may not have worked in the past is usually because of you, but sometimes it's because of product, right? Market fit. So product market fit is a phenomenon used to describe um, essentially like uh, what, would, what would you call it? Um, like, this is when like your product actually resonates with your market, right? When there's exchange um, resonance, essentially, where what you're selling is what someone actually wants, right? And really, it's not about product market fit. It's about solution problem fit, right? Because, you know, the market has a list of problems. And if you create a business or you create a company and what you're selling isn't really a solution to a problem, you're not going to make any money. And so maybe you've like maybe you had a drop shipping store before and you started trying to sell a product that well no one wants. Well why does no one want that product? It's because there's no problem. People are very unwilling to give money to something unless they're in pain. Like really pain is the driving um, financial decision factor of every person in any market ever. And so if you want them to give you their hard earned money so that you can make 10 grand a month, you need to actually so I'm just trying to drill this in, you need to solve the problem. It's not about like agency or dropshipping or coaching or, you know, repurposing Andrew Tate clips or whatever. It's just, are you actually solving a problem? Because if you're not, people aren't going to be willing to pay you, right? So that's the first thing. So that's the vehicle. Okay. That's the thing is you need to understand that if you want to make money, you have to add value. And if you want to add value, you have to remove pain. So we create pain through removing, sorry, we create value through removing pain. We do that by solving a problem and our business then becomes essentially a vehicle for someone to get in and drive from where they are to where they want to be. Okay, simple as that. Now let's get into the heavier thing, which is the driver, right? So once we've established the vehicle, and I'm hoping you understand now that you can basically pick anything. Because if, if someone's made what you want to make in that thing, it's possible. You just have to figure out how to become them essentially. 
So now let's figure out this driver thing. And the driver, well, this is basically you, right? So understand this, we, we don't achieve goals. So if you're trying to make $10,000 a month, that's a goal, right? We, as a human, you don't achieve a goal, you achieve an identity or a character. And as a result of achieving the identity or the character, you will become the person that can make the 10K a month, right? And so understand that, like, if the goal here is to make 10K a month, right? You, you never ever make, and this is a huge mistake that people make, never ever ever make the mistake of going after the goal. You can set the goal and that's fine, but you need to invert it and ask yourself, well, what, like, what really achieves a goal? Because if you're trying to achieve something in life, you want to focus on the inputs of that thing. Because 10K a month is an output, this is an effect of a cause, right? And so what we want to do is we want to try and establish what causes this to happen, so that we can focus on that because that's within our control because we can then start putting these causes into motion to cause the effect. So it's very dangerous. You want to set the goal, but it's very dangerous to fixate on that and keep it focused. What you want to do instead is focus on becoming the person that as a result of you becoming that person can make this happen easily. I'm going to explain how, this, how to do this. It's very... Um, it's not that complicated. It's just like... People don't really get it, you know? If you want to like achieve something, if you want to make a certain amount of money, don't try to make the money, try to become he who can or she who can. Because people achieve goals. Goals don't achieve themselves. And so if you want to do anything, just ask yourself, well, who do I need to be for that to happen? And then start becoming that person. And then once you're that person, you'll make it happen. Because if you were like, if you were capable of making 10K a month, you would have already done it. So you are the problem, right? You are the reason you're not where you want to be. It's not because of anything. We talked earlier about responsibility, right? You are the issue. You know, the common denominator of all the problems in your life is you. And so if you don't want to ex experience those problems and you want to solve them, you have to identify the problem, which is you, and then you have to change. Because if, if, like, if, you, if you try and start a, a business now with who you currently are, it's just not going to work. And that might, that might seem quite um, brutal, but it's, it's the honest truth. You know, if you think right now that you have any chance of making 10K a month, you are sorely mistaken. Because who you are isn't capable of doing that. So what you need to do is you need to learn how to transcend yourself and become someone else. And I'm not saying that you need to change your name or, you know, like undergo some weird, like religious routine. That's not the purpose here. But you need to realize and understand that it's about personal change. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do this, and I'm gonna walk you through, like there's really three things that you can focus on and control that basically make you up, and it's gonna get kind of heavy, so let's get into it. <clears throat> so if you ask yourself a very existential question for a second here, you know, let's just put this in, or let's just say that your neck's a little bit steadier than that. So let's ask, ourselves this question. Who are you? Right? Now, your natural response to that question is, well, my name is Charlie Morgan, and I live at this address, and I am a man, and this is my family, and I have this going on, and I have this religion, and I eat this, like, and my passport says this, so this is what I, this is who I am, right? You've got to realize, man, that all of that stuff is just arbitrary, right? If you actually ask yourself, like, who or what are you, the, the question isn't very clear because you are not your name, right? Because a name is just an arbitrary, you know, it's a sound bite that gives, that gives you, like, some sort of meaning, right? You're not your passport or your driving license. You're not an address. You're not a family. Like, what are you? Well, that's a pretty existential question to answer. But really, like, you are a few things, right? Now, I've read an awful lot of Jung and Jungian psychology in my life, and if I'm not careful, I'm going to take you down a rabbit hole that is, like, seven hours long. So I'm going to try and keep this simple. There is an answer to this question of what are you and who are you, um, 
but it goes super deep and it's a terrifying place to go. So we're not gonna go there today. We're just gonna focus on some easier things to digest so that you can actually get some actionable um, steps after this video so you can start you know, making progress to become the person that can achieve the goal you want to achieve, right? So really, what you are at first principle is you are a collection of different things because also you're not your body. You know, if you ask yourself that, if you think that's the answer, like you're not your body, your body is just like a, a physical structure designed to house your organs. You're not your brain, you're not your thoughts. You're not, you're not really anything, right? And that's good news because that means that you can change. So you are a collection of beliefs. You are a collection of skills and you are a collection of characteristics. Now, the truth, and I'll, I'll give you the Jungian Psychology 101 um, really quickly. The way that Jung had answered this question, Jung's, by the way, if you're not familiar with Carl Jung, um, he's like the founder of modern psychology um, and his work is absolutely petrifying. Um, so I wouldn't suggest reading it and, unless you want to be a bit scared. Um, but Jung basically believes that like the psyche or the identity works like this. And it, it kind of, you can pie chart it out. This is a very, um, this is a very, very um, reductive view of, of the psychology. But Jung basically believes that you have, that you are like a collection of parts. So this could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, obviously you're not just ten parts, but Jung basically believes that the psyche or the individual is is nothing but a collection of different identities. And what that essentially means is like, have you, have you ever had this before where um, you feel like you've got two sides to yourself? Where like, if you're trying to make progress in business, one side is like super confident, trying to build things, trying to do well. And then a couple of weeks later, another side of you comes knocking it all down. Or maybe you've tried to um, eat healthy before and you're on it for like a couple of weeks and then part of you is like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, or maybe, you know, I know that maybe one day you decide that you want to make friends and start being social and being extroverted and you start making friends and then like a couple of months later you decide you don't really want those friends anymore and you want to sort of you know just work on yourself and, and, and not be in, not be extroverted like have you ever had this I'm sure you've had this before I'm sure there's loads of instances in your life where it seems like you want two different things at the same time and you can't get clear or make decisions on how to orient yourself in the world because it seems like you've got conflicting identities, right? And this is basically what Jung believed, is that you've got a ton of different parts. Um, and what these parts do is they basically represent, like, they represent motive. Now, motive is, like, not really the, the right word to use here, but they represent different wants, right? There's actually a way better word to use here. They represent different wants. And essentially, your physical body and your conscious mind um, is nothing but a slave to the unconscious to get what the unconscious wants, right? And so one day the unconscious might want one thing and then the other day it might want another. And you have these different parts of you and what these parts do is they communicate to you through emotions, right? Because when you've got a very deep psychological um, piece of your identity, um, that's sort of representing a specific one or advocating for a specific need, the only way it can really um, communicate and try to implore you to fulfill that need or one is through some sort of deep emotion. Um, and so this is, this, like I said, this is a whole deep thing. So I'm trying to answer the question because I asked you a very ex existential question here of what you actually are. This is sort of the answer. It goes levels deeper than, than you could ever possibly imagine. So yeah, if you want me to make a video on this, you can comment, um, but I warn you it's, I don't know if I want to make it because it is, it's not very, it's kind of a bit dark and it gets a bit um, heavy. But anyway, let's stay on track here about how to make 10K a month. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, deep unconscious parts of you aside that want different things, um, there's really three things that you can, effectively control because the diagram that I just drew um, to understand and work on that which is something essentially called shadow work that takes years and years of work to, to sort of realign your wants and integrate parts of you that you didn't know existed but I can tell you right now that in in your mind right in your deep unconscious mind there is a segment of your identity and there is a part of you advocating for 10k a month 
And the truth is that you don't really want 10K a month. You want something that it represents. So for you, it's probably coming from, a, from an emotional place, right? For me, I wanted to make 10K a month um, at the beginning of, of my entrepreneurial journey because I didn't want to um, uh, essentially extinguish control to a third party potential tyrant because I was bullied in school. So I didn't want to have a boss or give anyone control over me ever because I'd experienced that in a tyrannic, tyrannical um, malevolent form before and that really had a bad impact on me. And so what happened when I was a kid is a part of me formed that no longer wanted to, you know, release control to an authority um, or to someone that had control over me. And so my entire motivation, and this is what happens when you study this, by the way, as you start to realize why you do what you do, my entire motivation or drive to make money in the initial stages was essentially to like not have, not to be bullied again, right? And so you want to make 10 grand a month, you might not know why, you just know that you really want to. It could be because you want you, you, you finally want your father to be proud of you. It could be because a girl broke your heart when you were you know, 13 years old and you wanna, you wanna get her back and you still love her. It could be because you, you want freedom because you, know, you grew up poor and you, you saw your parents scrounging and you're terrified that's gonna be you. Or it could be because your parents got divorced because you know, they didn't have enough money. There's so many reasons, psychological reasons that it could be. And so all I'm telling you right now is that if you want to make 10 grand a month, it's, you're different, you're weird, and that's okay. But I'm telling you that you have got a different set, a very unique and weird set of psychological conditions driving you to do this. There's a reason why you've sat through this video for 40 minutes, near enough. There was some dude t talking with a whiteboard, and there's a reason why you tolerated that and given that your attention span it's because a deep part of you is driven towards doing it, okay? And managing that and understanding that is gonna take you years. So anyway, let's actually get back to the stuff you can control. And that really is your beliefs, your skills, and your characteristics. So when we talk about being the driver, you know, and becoming the person that can make 10 grand a month, it's about fixing three things inside of your identity or in terms of your psyche or who you are, right? So let me just repeat this point again. So if you have your goal of making 10K per month, you have to understand that in order to achieve this goal, you have to become the person that can. And so instead of focusing on trying to make 10 grand a month, you just need to try and focus on becoming the person that can make that money because by becoming that person, you will make the money. So if I want to become a billionaire, I have to become the person that can make a billion dollars, right? If, if I want to um, learn Russian, I have to become the person that is capable of learning Russian, right? And the chances are right now is there is a misalignment between who you are and who you need to be, and you haven't given it enough time for that to elapse. So let me actually walk you through now how to become he who can, or she who can, or they who can. I don't give a shit, right? So, there are three things that you can fix, and I'm gonna walk you through all of them, and hopefully I'm gonna blow your mind. So, we have beliefs, we have skills, and we have characteristics. So, we'll start with skills, because it's the easiest one to understand. Um, the belief thing will completely blow your mind. Um, I'm gonna hope that it makes sense because it's it's a pretty deep thing um and then we'll, we'll we'll do characteristics so skills okay so if you think about this for a second what is a skill right you might be able to you know understand like intuitively what a skill is like oh well like a skill like playing the drums or you know learning like knowing how to sell or something like that but essentially a skill is just being good being good at something, right? When you're good at something, you are skilled at that thing, right? And so one of the first things that you have to do with, your, um, with yourself, if you want to make 10K a month, is you need to ask yourself the question of, you know, what skills do you need to develop in order to make that happen? Because I can tell you, for example, that if you're trying, if your vehicle, you know, um, if the business vehicle you're picking, um, what that will do is it will make demands of you, right? And so, you know, when you pick the, the car that you want to drive to get 10K a month, this vehicle is essentially going to set the conditions 
for success. And so if you want to learn to drive this vehicle, you have to become a certain type of person. So this could be the drop shipping, you know, vehicle, right? And over here, down here, I don't know if you can see this, you can. Over here, you know, this could be, you know, the consulting vehicle, right? And so this, this will set a certain set of conditions that might look like this. And this will set a completely different set of conditions that look like this. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to learn how to drive this thing. But you have to understand that the skills required to do dropshipping successfully and the skills required to do consulting successfully are very, very different things. Now, of course, there will be overlaps. But for example, you know, let's say that this is an agency, that the agency vehicle, you know, and you want to start, you know, a marketing agency or, you know, something like that. Um, or let's say this is the closing vehicle. You want to be like a high ticket closer. What are the skills required for, for you to become successful and to be able to drive this car to the finish line of 10K a month is knowing how to sell, right? Now, you might then tell yourself, well, I don't know how to sell and I'm not a good salesperson. But this is where we have to, to gauge this identity problem, right? Where who you are right now is not capable of achieving what you want to achieve. And so if right now you want to make 10K a month and you're, you're, you've picked a vehicle that requires you to, to sell and you don't know how to sell, well, that's fine because you just have to learn how to sell. Because, you know, you, you can learn how to sell. It's kind of like saying that, saying that you're, you can't be successful in, in, a, in a business because you don't know how to sell would be like saying that, you know, um, you can't be successful in life as a baby because you don't know how to eat. You can learn basically anything. You've, you learn the, the motor skills required to use a knife and fork when you were like, you know, three or four years old, right? Because, you know, if you came out of the womb and you were like, oh, well, I'm going to die, aren't I? Because I don't know how to eat. Well, you learn how to eat. It's the same thing where, you know, maybe you're like four years old, you know, you're just learning how to speak and, you know, you say to yourself, oh, like, I, you know, I'm not, I'm never going to be able to like have any friends because I don't know how to speak English. Well, you, or, you know, any insert language here. You learn, you develop the skill, right? And believe it or not, you have a incredible latent ability to acquire skills and learn things and pick them up. And it's not just because you don't know how to do it right now or just because you don't identify with it or it doesn't, you know, it doesn't resemble you. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to learn. Look at your life and, you know, another example is like, you know, maybe when you're like 15 years old and, you know, you want to have a girlfriend and, well, that requires some certain skills. You need to know how to be funny and interesting and charming and you need to know how to take care of someone and have empathy and, you know, if you want that and you're like, well, I don't know how to do that. Well, you learn, you pick it up. If you want it bad enough, you'll learn the skill, right? Because what's more painful, being broke or like changing your identity? Well, probably being broke, right? Because it does require pain to, to change and become and learn and grow and develop. And it's uncomfortable to do that because it's outside of your comfort zone. But I can tell you now that it's far more painful to stay where you are than to, you know, not develop. So what you need to do is you need to ask yourself right now, with the business model that you have selected, and remember, you can select anyone because they all work, you need to ask yourself, what skills do I need to have to make this happen? So let's say you wanted to start a bricklaying business to get 10K a month. Well, you need to have the skill of bricklaying, right? You need to have the skill of time management. You need to know how to drive a van, right? You need to basically make a list of every single skill that you could perceive yourself needing to have. And then it will become very clear what you're missing, right? So I can give you an example here of, um, of, of like, let's just take an agency, right? A, business, a marketing agency, because this is, you know, what I've known. Um, so you need to know how to sell, right? You need to know how to set appointments. Um, you need to know how to set appointments. These are all skills. You need to know how to um, media buy. You know, buy media. You might need to know how to do some graphic design. Um, you need to know how to, you know, analyze data. There's, and there's, there's a ton, you know, there's, there's going to be an infinite, there's going to be like maybe 20 skills. But you get the point, right? So if you're looking at, well, I want, to, I want to start an agency and get to 10K a month. If you don't know how to sell, maybe you know how to do media buying. But if you don't know graphic design, I'm not saying, by the way, that you need to know graphic design because I don't and I had an agency doing 100 grand a month when I was like 20, right? But the point here is if you're trying to do like a graphic design agency, then you're going to have to know that, right? Um, but if you don't know how to analyze data, then you just learn. You, you figure out what you need, what skills you need to develop, 
and you start developing them. You read books around them, you talk to people who have those skills, and you learn and you try and you, you, you fail and then it's painful. And so earlier on, you know when I said that, um, you know when I said that like some people are gonna be able to do it in like 12 months, and for some people it's gonna take like 36 months? Well, the, the, the reason it's gonna vary from person to person is because in order for you to make, let's say that this person here, um, with the crown on, right? This represents a 10K per month person. This person is worth 10 grand a month to the market. They are, they have the skills, characteristics, and belief systems um, required for them to achieve this. And so they are effectively worth that amount of money, right? And to the market at least. Um, in order to make 10K a month, you need to become this type of person, right? Now you are starting, right? You, you are here right now and you're, you want to do this. And the thing is, is this could be you here, right? And, you know, maybe you're pretty far away from becoming the person that can make 10 grand a month because you're starting, you know, and you're, you have no experience or nothing at all, right? But then another person could try and start at the same time as you, but they are slightly further ahead on the path already because maybe they spent, you know, seven months in a sales job one summer when they were 15 doing door-to-door -door sales. And so if, if one of the things, you know, required for you to make 10K a month is the skill of sales, you know, if you've got no previous sales experience, you can still develop the skill, you know, and, and become the person that, that can make the money by developing the skill to, you know, make 10K a month. But this person here, if they've already got some sales experience, they're gonna beat you to it. They're gonna make it faster than you. And so this is why, in my first agency, I went from zero to 10 grand a month in about two to three months. And people look at that when I was 19, right? 19, 18, 19. And you might be looking at that and thinking, well, shit. You know, I'm, I've been doing this, or I'm like 23, like I've not made this progress, and I've been doing this for three months, I can't even make one grand a month. Well, newsflash, before, um, before I started my agency, right? When I was 18, by the time I was 18, I'd read near enough 200 books on business, right? And I'd been selling, I'd, I'd done a sales apprenticeship, 18, 19. I'd been doing a 12 month sales apprenticeship where every day I made 300 cold calls and I took, you know, three to four sales calls a day. So it's no, it's no wonder I went from zero to 10K a month so fast. It's because I already had a ton of knowledge on what to do and I already had the skills required from my apprenticeship to do that. And I'd, already, I'd spent hundreds if not thousands of hours studying entrepreneurs and reading and, you know, watching YouTube videos and podcasts and drilling things in and working on this stuff. Without knowing about it, I was laying the foundation. So I'm telling you now, maybe it's possible for you to get to 10K a month um, in the next month or two. But it's very unlikely if you haven't been working on the foundations, right? So that's why it, there's such a varying time difference between you know people when it comes to making 10 grand a month. And it's also why you shouldn't bother comparing yourself to the speed at which other people achieve that. Because you never want to look at someone's age. Like there's a difference between like human age and entrepreneurial age. Because by the time that I started my first agency, my entrepreneurial age, which is the age from which I was actually already developing skills and reading and trying to, you know, build, actually build stuff, I was already like two years old, you know, in terms of my entrepreneurial age. So when I started my business, I already had two years of experience to hinge on. But if I hadn't done that and I started my business, I'm zero years old. You know, I've, I've, got, I've got less experience, right? So let's get back to this skill thing. So what you wanna do is you wanna make a list of skills that you need to have in order to achieve this. And if you're, if you're confused and you're asking yourself, well, how do I know what skills I need? Well, you can just go and ask people. You know, go and listen to podcasts um, that, you know, there's loads of them, it's gonna, you're gonna find a ton. Go and start listening to podcasts of people who are making what you want to make or way more, and just listen to how they talk. Listen to what they talk about is important. Listen to, you know, what is there and what skills are there. And then you're gonna go on Google Docs or your paper and you're gonna start making a big list of everything that you need to get good at. And then by getting, if you get good at all of this stuff, then when you come to do it, you're gonna be good at it and you're gonna make money. It really is this simple, right? It's not rocket science. It's just, what do I need to be good at? That, okay, I'll go and learn it. How do you learn it? You read, you study people, you, you trial and error, you know? And, you know, for example, um, 
the one skill that I have right now is making YouTube videos, right? Albeit like my skill of drawing is, is, is pretty dire, but I can now sit down for like two hours at a time and talk about abstract concepts without making any like mistakes in terms of like the way that I'm talking. Like there's no umming and ah and I don't have to keep cutting the clip and you know, it's just one big recording with a couple of exceptions. And that's a skill. And so for me, my goal in life is to be a billionaire. And if you've noticed, most billionaires are very capable of, capable, that's so funny that I've started making mistakes now that I'm thinking about it. But most billionaires are capable of very, very eloquent and articulate communication, right? And so I need to know how to do that. I need to know how to talk. I need to know how to persuade, especially if I'm gonna build businesses that are front facing, using a personal brand and leveraging attention, that's a skill required. And so like, I'm working on that by making these YouTube videos, I'm practicing that skill so that in 15 years time, when I'm sat at a board meeting or I'm delivering a speech to a company of, you know, my company of 10,000 people, I don't fall, I don't struggle because I've developed the skill of public speaking and knowing how to communicate and articulate myself and my ideas in front of thousands of people without error, right? So that's just an example. You need to make a list of skills and once you know the skills, um, well, that's it. What pays the bills, it's skills, right? It's as simple as that. So that's really the first thing um, in your, you know, psychological um, arsenal. You know, we've really got a triangle here. And we've got skills. Actually, skills is not the most important one. Um, I'll put the skills here. We've got skills. We've got characteristics. And we've got beliefs. All right, beliefs is the big one. And we'll get into that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that up there. Let's just do this. Okay. And you've got beliefs. So we've covered skills. It's very simple. Figure out what you need to be good at and get good at it. It's not rocket science. Right, it's difficult to do, simple to understand. The next one is characteristics, okay? So a characteristic is basically like kind of, uh, how would I explain what a characteristic is if, if, if I'm trying to just define it and, and make it nice and simple? Well, it's, it's simple, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a characteristic, right? It's basically something that you have that determines how you operate and you know, manifest yourself into the world, right? So a characteristic is essentially you know, part of your character, right? So you have a character and the way that that character dances around and moves around in the world is determined by you know, the, 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 the thing that underpins it. So one characteristic, for example, could be patience, right? Another characteristic could be extroversion, right? Another characteristic could be orderliness, right? Another characteristic could be humor. Another characteristic, characteristic could be, I don't know if you're handsome or not, right? You know, these are basically physical and psychological attributes that determine like how things work for you, right? So what you want to do once again, it's exactly the same as skills, is you want to do an audit. Now, it's kind of like, you know what I said earlier, how like the vehicle that you pick will set the precedent for who you need to be to successfully drive it? Well, I can tell you now that like, let's say that you have, like if we actually use cars as an example here, um, if you want to drive a, um, a bus, right? You know, and you're driving like a huge, like, you know, 50 seater bus, and you want to drive an F1 car, well, you're probably going to have to drive those two things slightly differently. The bus driver is going to have to be um, like slower, more paced and calmer and blah, blah, blah. But the F1 driver is going to have to be sort of like really fast reaction times and really quick and like, you know, requires a different person essentially, right? So what you want to do once again is look at the vehicle that you pick, look at the business that you've picked and ask yourself what characteristics someone who's making 10K a month would have, right? Now I'm going to give you two. Because really, there's, yeah, there's, there's probably, mm, no, there's three. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, there's three. Um, yeah, okay. So, no, I'm gonna give you four. Okay. So, in terms of the characteristics that people who make 10K a month have, that you need to develop, and need, you need to develop these as an absolute matter of priority, there's, there's four, right? And these are personal attributes that you can develop and introduce into your life. Um, focus, 
Discipline. Malleability. And emotional management. So there's going to be a lot of characteristics that you need to develop to become the, the kind of person that can make 10k a month. Um, you know, another one, for example, could be patience. It could be you know communication skills, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I'm going to leave that up to you to decide like who you want to be. And the cool thing about all of this, by the way, is it's actually entirely possible for you just to literally write down all the skills and characteristics and belief systems you need. And you can just become that person. Like it's kind of cool. You can literally just like decide, okay, here's who I need to be, and then just start becoming it. And it's kind of like I'm exposing the wiring to you because by becoming that person, like think about it logically with me here. If you develop all the skills, all the characteristics, and all the belief systems of someone that can make 10k a month, then you're going to make 10k a month. I'm hoping the penny. The, I'm hoping the penny is dropping for you now. It's not about the goal, it's about you, right? It's about your skills, your characteristics, and your belief systems. And if you figure out, you know, what this 10K a month cocktail looks like with the vehicle that you've picked, and you learn all the skills, you develop the characteristics, and you fix your belief systems, and you actually do that, well, then your identity is shifted, and now you're going to be making 10 grand a month. It's kind of impossible. If you become the person that can make 10K a month consistently by having the right characteristics, developing the right skills, and in, in introducing the right belief systems into your life, and you do all of that stuff, it's impossible for you to, to not make 10 grand a month. It's just like a rule of nature. You know, in the same way that like a famous athlete just keeps winning over and over again. Like if you can do it, you will. It's as simple as that. So the first characteristic that you need to develop is focus. Um, this is the ability to just work on one thing and channel your attention and energy and time into one specific thing that adds a lot of value for a long period of time. The second thing is discipline, which is being able to essentially like control your behavior and not allow yourself to, it's kind of like focused in behavioral format. It's just like, how well are, can you just stick to one thing and just like, you know, actually discipline yourself? Like if you say you're going to do something, do you actually do it or do you end up like, you know, venturing off into like a, a fairy lab, right? And um, the third one, and this is a weird one, malleability. What the hell does that mean? Well, malleability is your ability to change. It's your ability to um, perform ecstasies, which is the word used to describe a snake shedding its skin, right? Where you you just let go of who you are and you become someone else. So, you know, for, for, for example, um, there is going to come a time and point in, his, in, in, in the future where um, my business success and my goal no longer requires me to be a YouTuber and make YouTube videos. And when that day comes, I will just stop making YouTube videos. You need to be malleable at all times. And what this means is never marrying yourself to a specific identity or a specific form so that, you know, when it, times, when it comes time to change form, you can just shift. It's like the Bruce Lee quote, like, if water is in the cup, it becomes the cup. If it's in the river, it becomes the river. Be like water. You need to be able to change. And at a moment's notice, just shift your identity and shift your belief systems, your skills, your characteristics to become someone else. For example... You know, right now, one of the skills I need to learn is sales management for my company, right? And, you know, in order for me to do that, I have to become a sales manager. I have to become the kind of person that can do that. And so in the past, I haven't been a sales manager, but I'm not going to look at that and be like, oh, you know, well, I'm not a sales manager, so I'm not going to do that. That's just dumb. If you don't, if you're not willing to sacrifice your identity for your goal, you're sacrificing your goal. So you have to ask yourself what matters more to you, your current um, your current psychological state in terms of your current identity or the future that you so desperately desire. You have to sacrifice who you are to get what you want. You There's no other way. Like when you set a goal, the universe will demand a sacrifice and that sacrifice is your current sense of self, it's your current identity. And the chances are, is you're going to be quite happy with that because who you are right now has created all the problems in your life. And so you kind of want to kill it off. I'm not telling you to actually, you know, um, commit an unimaginable act of sadness, you know, I'm asking you to realize that it's impossible for you to get what you want with the current character that you have right now and the current skills you have right now, the current belief systems you have right now. Because if you, if you had the right ones, you'd, you wouldn't be watching this video, you'd be making 10 grand a month, right? So malleability is basically your ability to shift between identities and shift between things. And when your goal or your vehicle demands something of you and demands you to change or shift, then you change. Now, 
I'm not advocating here for the absolution of principles or values that mean a lot to you. For example, like I'm not going to tell you to like cut your family off or change your religion or you know if if like for example I'll draw a line right. If my goal suddenly demanded me to kill someone and and murder someone, I ain't going to do it because I'm not willing to you know become that malleable that I end up becoming a murderer. Right? That's not that's not that's not my cup of tea. Right? So I'm not going to be doing something like that. Same thing if um if it required me to just do something really illegal. Like I'm just, I'm not going to do it. There's, there's things that I won't compromise on, right? Principles and morals. Fortunately enough, I don't have to do any of that, but you know, you get the point, right? Um, the last one is emotional management, right? And this is the ability to control your emotions. You have to understand that people that make six figures in their business, they think differently to you and they treat themselves and their emotions differently to you. And so it's about being able to become aware of your emotional state and regulate it um, and not letting yourself get carried away. For example, if you wake up one morning and you've got all this doubt about the business and you're terrified and you're nervous and you know what it's like, you know, you're, you're sat there at like 9am and suddenly this massive wave of doubt comes over you. It's, you need to control that and manage it and you can't let that seep into your work and you know, you can't let that seep into the business too much because if you do, the business is not going to go anywhere, right? So it's about the best place to start with character. You probably, if, if you're not making 10 grand a month, you probably can't focus, you're probably undisciplined, you're probably not malleable and you probably can't control your emotions. Maybe you can do one or two, but once you can do all four, these are the core characteristics required for you to get to 10K a month, right? Um, and I can tell you this is true because not only were these the ones that I had to develop to do it myself, but at this point I've helped like hundreds and hundreds, like three, 400 other people get 10K a month. So like, it's, like if you're wondering how we, we do that through our agency program, but I'm not gonna sell you anything right now. Um, but you get the point, right? It's, it's, you need these things, characteristics, if you don't have them, you need to develop them. How do you, how do you develop focus? Is through um, meditation and through just like single-minded focus, deleting all your social media apps, deleting everything that isn't the main thing, that isn't the goal. Um, how do you become disciplined? Um, I can make a video on that. By the way, um, if, you, if you have any video ideas, like specific problems that you're facing that you want me to help you solve through these videos, just comment below. And then the comments that get the most likes, I'll make videos on because it's fractal and I'm helping you solve a problem, right? Discipline, malleability, emotional time. So, you know, management. So if you can get these characteristics in line, you're gonna be the person that can make 10 grand a month, okay? Now, now let's get to your beliefs. Um, I'm going to make a entirely separate video on belief systems and how they work um, because it, in order for me to properly explain these, I'm gonna need a good couple of hours. Now, some of you guys may not be interested in belief systems at all. For me, it's the main thing to anyone's success. Like it's the most, one of the most important things. If you want me to make the video on belief systems and how they work and how to completely change your belief systems and like I can, I, I can do this for a pastime, like I'm very good at it now. So I've studied beliefs for a long time. So if you want me to make a belief system video and how to change your belief systems and like go haywire with fixing that, then just put a comment. And if those comments get lots of likes and stuff, then I'll make the video. If they don't, then no one cares, so I won't, right? Because um, I just want to make videos that you guys actually want to watch. But really, um, we're going to keep this pretty clean because I'm, like I said, I intend to make a video on this. Um, so your belief system or your a belief is basically a statement of truth, right? Yeah, I'm actually going to just not get into this too much right now. Um, and like I said, I'll make another video if, if it seems, if you guys want me to. Um, but a belief is basically a statement of truth about the world, the reality, or the way that you, um, the way that you exist in the world, right? It's, it can be a belief, a self-belief, like an identity belief, or a belief about the way the world works. And like, what you need to understand is that your beliefs, like the only real true limit to human potential is belief. Um, and what I mean by that is it's like, what do you believe is true? Because if you believe that making 10K a month is really difficult, and if you believe that you're not the kind of person that can make 10K a month, then well, guess what's gonna happen? You're not gonna do it. Because all of your behavior is filtered through your belief systems. And so, you know, what you need to do right now in your life is look at what you currently believe to be true about the world and what you, what you believe to be true about money, and ask yourself if, if that belief is serving you or not and whether or not it's truly rooted in the truth and you'll realize that there's nothing 
like the, the truth in term, in some terms doesn't even exist because for me I believe that money is massively abundant and it's easy to make but for you you probably believe that it's really difficult to make and so we see the world differently and if you want to adopt the paradigm and the belief system of someone making 10k a month you have to sacrifice some of the beliefs you have right now so that you can line up your vision of the world and the way that you manifest yourself into the world and the way that the world manifests to you um, you need to do that differently right so that's kind of like a brief sort of instruction. So another thing you can do, once again, is make a list of all the beliefs that you need to adopt to get to 10K a month. And how do you do this? Well, once again, it's studying people that have done it. So it's going to people in the business that are successful, um, in the same vehicle as you, that are making money and you know, they're where you want to be. And you just ask them about things. Like, what do you believe to be true about this? And what do you think about this? And listen to podcasts and study them. And over time, what will happen is you'll start to understand their belief systems and the way that their like perception of the truth manifests. And then as a result of that, you'll have no problem at all um, figuring out how to think, if that makes sense. So really, like that's, um, that's everything that I wanted to cover in today's video um, in terms of how to make 10K a month. Um, there's obviously more to it than this. It's not just like, this, this isn't just going to be a one-stop shop. But this should give you a lot of clarity and a lot of understanding on how to actually think and orient yourself um, and how to ground yourself so that you know when it does come to like time for rubber to meet the road and you actually start the business, you have some something to pin yourself to, if that makes sense. Um, and I know that this is true because this is literally exactly how I did it. Um, I'm just here sharing with you what worked for me as a young man, um, you know, when I was 18, 19. Um, and, you know, I, I figured this out from a pretty early age and, you know, now I have a great life and I'm really happy and you know I want you to be happy and I want you to have a great life as well. So I want to share this with you as if you were my little brother or you know, family member or a really good friend of mine who's asking for help. Um, now, if you are a marketing agency owner or a coach or consultant or you're starting one, there's a link in the description you can click. Full transparency, it's a sales funnel, right? It's a video of me attempting to sell you my program. Uh, I don't really care if you click it or not, truth be told. Um, but if you want to check it out, you can. Um, it's entirely up to you. Like maybe you don't want to. That's fine, you know. But it's there. It, we we help them get clients basically. If you're an agency or a coach, um, we're pretty bloody good at it as well. I love it. But anyway, enough of me trying to sell you something. I hope this video finds you well. Um, I hope you use it to get to 10k a month and um, love you lots. I love you like a brother. I want you to, you know, I want the best of you. And I want to make videos for people like you. Because if someone made videos for this, but well, people, someone did. Like this is Sam Evans, right? Sam Evans, well, this, this, these aren't his ideas, but um, I want to be to you what my mentor was to me when I was starting. I need so, you need someone to sort of, you know, illuminate the world for you and give you like show you the way and be like, you know, you're in a big dark cave right now, and you know, someone just needs to come along with a flashlight and say, hey, just in this direction. Like I can't tell you everything because I haven't got time to tell you everything right now, but. I hope this this hour will you know show you the show you how to step in the right direction. And you'll figure it out, um, and I hope I can be that for you. So I love you. Have a good day. Take care.